Hey guys, welcome to the AL Show production. Today's topic we will be discussing about love will get you killed. Well guys, to keep more videos like this, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you want to see different topic. Today's topic is very important. It's a topic that I want to talk about. It's from my heart and it's very sad. This topic is very important because sometime in life, when God puts you in a position that you wealthy success, you will struggle to get on top where you is today to be success in life. It's always people want to see you come down. And that's the people that you show love to. And they don't want to have envy and jealousy and hatred. Even want to kill you for what you got. And it's so sad. And that's what's going on today in the world. Ego and jealousy is a serious thing. Very serious. Sometime, you know, you come from poverty. You come from Section 8. Regardless where you come from. White trailer house, black trailer, whatever. You just come from poverty. You focus on your career. God puts you in a position that you success. You're doing well with your career. Now you're in a position that you could do for others and you could do for yourself. Now you want to go back into your society where you was a youth you raised. You want to go back and show love. And that's when the issue starts. Because people in life not happy for your success. And sometimes with us, we fall weak. We want to go back into our so-called community and do for our people. And our people is the one who want to destroy us. You understand? And that's what happened today in this world today. A lot of people, I'm not calling nobody a name. I'm not criticizing nobody. I'm only talking about my experience and what I know. And I see what's going on today in the world. That people who well success and try to show love in poverty, in the ghetto where they come from, it's always somebody in there want to take you out, take you out. And the best thing for you to do, you have to leave that alone. You have to put that in the pastor hand. First of all, you need to put God in your hand, in your heart. You need to put that in the pastor hand, or you need to find somebody in that community that everybody know, and, and you de let them deal with that. Or if you're going in that community sometime, you need some heavy security. I ain't talking about no bodyguard. You need to get the police. You need to get the police involved for your protection because you have a family, too, to go back home, too. And that's the thing people don't understand. When you success in life, God put you in that position. You cannot go hang with them old friends on the corner like it's cool. It's not cool because you still going to always have old beef. Old beef don't die. The streets don't care nothing about nobody. It don't care nothing about nobody. And when you go in that community and trying to show love to your so-called homeboys, and that's the ones who get you caught up. They tip off your enemies saying you in the area with such and such car, with such and such person, and now you get caught up. Now you die. Now your wife and your family who tell you stay out that community, stay out this so-called ghetto, you didn't want to because you feel like that's the hood. You're not going to leave it. You always show love. You got to understand, when God puts you in a position of life, people, you success, you're on a different level now. I'm not saying you look down at people in your community. You can show love for people in your community, but you cannot be in their possession because they the one want to destroy you. And it's sad. We, in society today, we killing each other for wealth for material thing, for old beef, that I'm success. Let me go chill with the homeboys in the strip club. Now I end up getting losing my life, hanging with the homeboys. Or I'm going to the corner and go hang out with my boys. Let me go chill by my boy park. Let me go chill by my old girlfriend. You have to understand some people, 
when you success, you're on a different level. You cannot be caught up in these so-called ghettos. You cannot be caught up in these swamp, in these areas. It's not for you. You're on a higher level. You have people look up to you now. You can't deal with these ghetto things no more. I'm not saying you turn your back on the ghetto. You have to let somebody else deal with that who be in the ghetto or wherever you come from, poverty. You understand? People is not happy for your success, even including family members, friends, old girlfriend. People is not happy for you. Where you at today is because God put you there. You struggle to get there. You had to go from different chapters and different chapters to come up there to be well success. Now, you were up there. Why are you going back in that so-called community? Thinking them dudes is your friend. You ain't see them two, three years, but you call them all the time. You think they still have love for you. No, they don't. They don't have love for you. Because they're not in the they not where you at. They mad. They jealous. They have envy in their heart. You understand? So you have to move forward with your life. You got to do better things. You understand? I love y'all. This is the AR Show. Take care. God bless.